All right, guys, thanks for checking out this new video covering our drive shafts. Now, obviously we offer a variety of transmission conversion adapters, flywheels, et cetera, for getting different motors mated to completely different manufacturer or different model transmission. But a key part of that is a drive shaft because obviously whatever you're doing, your factory drive shaft isn't going to transition and help you complete that swap. Now, we've been offering drive shafts for probably a little over four and a half years and these are not a component that is actually built in-house. I It took a while, but I ended up finding a great supplier, great builder that I've had an immense amount of luck uh, that supplies all of our drive shafts for different combinations. Now, in front of us, you have the steel as well as the aluminum. Now, what's gonna happen is most people are gonna ask a question, well, which one's stronger? Why does the aluminum cost more than the steel? Well, it's very simple. The standard steel shafts that we offer are still gonna be a 1310, 1350 style U-joint. So it'll work on a lot of applications. We only use Neepco and Spicer branded U-joints, uh, which are the best that you can get out there. We don't use any knockoff, inferior quality replacement uh, U-joints on any of these. So we have yet to have a shaft fail U-joint uh, wise, or more importantly, have a shaft failed on a weld, which is probably where you see most of the, the failures out there online when you see, because a lot of guys will have the welds where it'll literally shear off and the tube will come loose. And then the primary thing you're gonna notice on the aluminum shafts is we use a thicker wall. If you're getting a thin wall uh, shaft, it can almost be guaranteed. You'll wonder why it's like a company is offering you an aluminum shaft for less than what you can buy a steel shaft for. Ask them the wall thickness on their aluminum tube in and see what they're using. If it's thin wall, kind of like what the domestic shafts are made with from factory, even though they're big three and a half, four inch shafts from factory, you wonder why those guys still have to purchase a upgraded drive shaft? It's because it's thin wall. It doesn't have the strength to sustain continuous abuse as well as the higher horsepower and torque levels that are getting sent down the drivetrain. Now, the aluminum shafts obviously are all going to be three and a half inch diameter. That's standard on those. That's part of the reason why the aluminum is actually capable of holding higher torque levels and horsepower. Uh, the larger diameter, as well as the thicker wall, allows this to sustain a bunch of power while, more importantly, dropping a lot of mass. It's not going to be like a 10 pound difference between the two, but when you're talking about reciprocating mass or rotating part of your assembly, whether it be your crankshaft, a reciprocating mass, whether it be coming from your crankshaft or your flywheel or your clutch weight, anything where you drop weight that's rotational on your drivetrain or even in your wheels and your braking system, you're going to see an immense amount of performance. So obviously if we built steel shafts as three and a half, you're going to add a a significantly noticeable amount of weight. Uh, the aluminum shaft, if you upgraded those, which is what we recommend for the nominal price difference, you're gonna notice that your on and off uh, pedal response and engine response from transient while you're shifting or just getting on and off, your gas pedal in a racing environment or drifting, whatever it is, the aluminum shaft, man, it's a world of a difference. You know, the steel is still gonna get it done. Don't get me wrong. It's, the steel is, slightly smaller it's a three inch versus a three and a half but you're also going to save weight and like i explained to you just a while ago the difference in weight is the reason why you'll enjoy driving your vehicle a lot more don't worry about the u-joints they're still 1350s you know and these are nice forged aluminum ends from sonics these are all top quality u-joint uh u-joint components that are built in all of our shafts so you can't really beat it so like I said, my recommendation, if you're going to spend the money, the aluminum is the way to go because of the benefits. But if it's outside of your purview, your budget, man, one of our steel shafts is still going to get you sorted out properly and get your swap done. Now, another key component I get asked all the time, even if you don't see a turnkey off the shelf application on the on the site, guess what? We still offer a bunch of custom shafts. All you have to be able to do is tell me the measurement from the flange to the seal portion 
on your vehicle. There are plenty of videos out there on other channels uh, that show you how to properly measure for a drive shaft. You get me over that information and let me know what transmission you're using so I can figure out what we're gonna do right here. And let me know what differential you're using in the back, whether or not you'll need one of our adapters to go along with it. And I'll build you any custom shaft that you need, even if it's not a typical Toyota or Jay-Z or domestic. We've done shafts for Volvos, we've done shafts for Chevys, Fords, a couple oddball cars. I can't really tell you what they are, but we've done some really interesting shafts over the years so feel free just to send me an email and let me know your application your measurements and most importantly those custom applications they don't really cost very much more than this unless it's a significant change or your transmission yoke is completely different it's going to fall in line with the typical prices we already offer between these we don't mark it up uh, a shaft assembly is a shaft assembly all of these are made to order even though we have the measurements uh, but it's a short turnaround. As you can see, most shafts are built within three to five days and out the door, man. You can't really beat that in this industry. You don't have to worry about waiting or anything. So go back to the site, place your order, or send me an email on a custom application. I'll be ready to quote it out for you. Share this video, tell your friends if you guys need a shaft, whether it's one we already make or a custom one, Hit me up, man. I'll get you taken care of. And once again, thanks for watching another Auto Sports Engineering uh, video regarding our custom drive shafts. Make sure you like and subscribe.